What is up, guys? My name is Robert Donaldson, and today we are back with episode number 38 of Rob's Best Bets for the date of January 7th, 2023. As always, you can find me on Twitter over at Rob DFB. And if you want more content like this in the future, please hit that like and subscribe button because it really does help out a ton with YouTube's algorithm. And before we get into today's video, let's recap Friday's betting performance. And it was another fantastic day of college basketball betting, which is perfect timing for us heading into the weekend. And hitting that cow bet was not only great for just the bet itself, but a big relief because at the same time, Akron was going on an 11 minute stretch of not making a field goal to close out the game. So that said, we move on and it was still a great day and we do have an amazing slate here on Saturday and we have 14 picks in this video. And listen, I do actually want to apologize for the volume here. I know that a lot of people may not be able to tail the full slate just with their normal bet sizing but there's just so much value out there today and I am chomping at the bit with a lot of these bets. So that being said, let's jump right into this video. All right, for our first pick of the day, we are headed over to the WCC. And once again, we are going up against Gonzaga here. We were on San Francisco on Thursday and listen, this is just not the same Gonzaga team that we're used to seeing. And Santa Clara is one of the most balanced teams in college basketball this season. They get boards, they get to the line, they can guard the perimeter well. I really like Santa Clara here getting the seven and a half points. So for two units, let's take the points. And for an additional unit, let's take the Broncos on the money line here as well. For our second bet of the day, we are headed over to the Big Ten where we have a matchup between Wisconsin and Illinois and man. This Illinois team is just going through it right now with guys leaving the program midseason and reports are swirling about a dysfunctional locker room. And listen, I realize Illinois is at home here. And if they were a fully put together team with their priorities in check, I think they could roll Wisconsin in this spot. But there's no way we can fade Wisconsin and the Badgers here when they're getting six and a half points. So for two units, let's take the six and a half points of the Badgers and throw an additional unit down here on the money line as well. For pick number three, we are headed out to the Pac-12 where we have Utah taking on Oregon at home. And I will keep this one short. Give me the Utes here at home laying the four and a half points for three units. And, and listen, this line is a very fishy kind of line. It feels almost like a trap to bet Utah here. I'm going to bite, and that's why it's only for three units, but feel free to play this line higher if it does end up rising. Uh, but for now, we're just going to lay three units down here for our third play of the day. For pick number four, we are headed down to the SEC, where we have Auburn taking on Arkansas at home. And once again, we are laying the points with the home team here in this spot. I really do think the Tigers can roll. So for three units, give me Auburn here laying the one and a half points for our fourth play of the day. For pick number five, we are headed out east to the ACC where we have a matchup between Virginia and Syracuse, and I really think the Cavaliers roll in this spot at home. Listen, we've seen what happens to Syracuse when they're matching up with a team that plays tight on-ball defense, and it isn't pretty, and this Virginia offense is much improved this season as well. So for three units, give me Virginia laying the 11 points for our fifth play of the day. For pick number six, we are headed over to the Big 12 where we have a matchup between TCU and Iowa State. And this Horned Frogs team has been on an incredible run to start this season. And they're showing themselves to be a legit contender, not only in the Big 12, but I think in the NCAA tournament as well. And listen, we've backed Iowa State quite a bit this season, but two wins on the road in the Big 12 especially is just so tough to do. And TCU has the ability to match the Cyclones defensively, so give me TCU at home laying the five points for three units for our sixth play of the day. For pick number seven, we are headed down to the Sun Belt where we have a really fun mid-major matchup between Middle Tennessee State and North Texas, and I love, love the Blue Raiders in the spot at home to get the job done. And this is once again, a home team who can match a heavy defensive team step for step. And we're even getting a full possession here. So give me Middle Tennessee State getting three and a half points for three units. And let's throw an additional unit down here on the money line as well. For pick number eight, we are headed back to the Big 12 where we have another home dog in this one with Oklahoma State going up against Texas. And man, 
Mike Boynton has done such a great job with this team, despite playing a really tough schedule to date, and unfortunately, we all know about what's going on with Texas right now. And with that being said, I love the Cowboys to roll in this spot. So give me Oklahoma State, getting the two and a half points for three units, and let's throw an additional unit down here on the money line as well. For pick number nine, we are headed up to Iowa, where we have a matchup between Southern Illinois and Northern Iowa, and on paper, it's probably easy to think that the Salukis probably roll in the spot, but let me tell you, Northern Iowa plays their best ball at home, and they're currently playing their best ball of the season as they rattle off four wins in the last five games, and I really do think the Panthers get it done in this spot, so for three units, give me Northern Iowa getting the one and a half points at home, and let's throw an additional unit down here on the money line as well. For pick number 10, we are headed out to the Pac-12, which has been a great conference for us to bet on all season long. And we are taking a look at a matchup between Arizona and Wazoo. And I'll keep this one short. Give me Arizona here laying the 13 points at home. And listen, Arizona got pushed by Washington last time out. But if you've been watching this series for a while, you know that Washington isn't a bad team. And we've been tailing them quite a bit. And Wazoo, on the other hand, is horrible at the line. They struggle to score. They get into a lot of foul trouble. I love the Wildcats here to roll, so let's take the points, or let's lay the points rather, and throw down four units for our 10th play of the day. For pick number 11, we are headed out to the Mountain West, really touching on all of the conferences today. And for this one, we are eyeing a fun matchup between New Mexico and UNLV, and it's going to be in the pit. And how can you possibly go against New Mexico at home? This is one of the best home court environments in college basketball, and this is a game that they'll be up for. So Give me the Lobos here, laying the four and a half points for four units for our 11th play of the day. For pick number 12, we are going way off the grid where we have a matchup between Merrimack and St. Francis. And listen, I stand by the belief that in the NEC, Merrimack is a contender and losing back-to-back -back games at home isn't how you contend. I really like the Warriors here to get things going. And I know this is a little bit of a degenerate special, if you will, but... I still love the Warriors here. So for four units, let's take the let's lay the three and a half points with Merrimack for our 12th play of the day. For pick number 13, we are headed out to the Big East where we have another great game today between Villanova and Xavier. And I am a firm believer in this Villanova team being the real deal, especially with Cam Whitmore back in the lineup. And this is a much needed resume building win for a team that desperately needs it. And I am more than fine laying two points here at home with Villanova. And I even think there's a chance that they can pull away with this one. So for our 13th play of the day, let's take Villanova laying the two points for five units. And hopefully we don't even have to sweat this one at all. All right, saving the best for last as we have West Virginia taking on Kansas in Morgantown in front of what is sure to be one of the loudest crowds the Mountaineers have seen in quite a while. And all I have to say is, take me home, country roads, West Virginia is going to roll. I love the Mountaineers here to lay a beat down on Kansas, truly. The length, the size, the ability to get to the free throw line consistently, and the athletes this West Virginia team has makes this team one of the top 10 teams in the entire country, in my opinion. And after a rough 0-2 start in conference play with two close road losses, I really think they pull off a huge upset win in Morgantown over Kansas. So let's take them here on the money line for five units for our final play of the day. All that being said, I really want to thank all of you for checking out today's video. And I want to give a big shout out to all of you for just the support you've been showing the last few days on this channel. I'm seeing my viewership numbers grow exponentially and I really can't thank you guys enough. But that said, I do have two additional free plays, believe it or not, today as well. And all you have to do is head over to Twitter and drop a follow at RobDFB. And then just shoot me a message asking for those extra free plays. And I will send you a message back with both of those picks. And I realize we already have so much volume out there today. So you don't have to reach out for those extra free plays if you don't want to. But they are there for those who do. And all that being said, definitely feel free to leave a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below, and as always, guys, I will see you in a future video. Take it easy.